Welcome back to my suburban garden. I'm Sheila, and today we're going to talk about watering the garden. Now, it rained today, so I didn't water, obviously. But how often, how much do you water? Well, last year when I first started, I was watering every day because I didn't know. I had no clue. So, it depends. It depends on a lot of things. Um, it depends on what kind of plant it is, um, what the weather is like, where you're at. Does it rain often? It depends. So, the recommendation is an inch to two inches a week. What's that? So, what I use is the finger test. You stick your finger down into your dirt and um, if it feels moist at the tip of your finger, a couple inches, three, four inches down, then you don't have to water. If it's dry down there, then you water. So I employ the watering deeply method. Um, instead of just um, showering the tops of your foliage, um, you water deeply. And I do the come back, the go and come back again. So I'll water deeply and then I'll come back if it needs a little bit more, I water some more. I start back from the beginning of where I was watering. So I water, let's say from the beginning of my garden to the end, I come back if it needs some more, I'll water some more. Um, which plants don't need water, as much water, or which ones need more water? So, so beans, squash, corn, cucumbers need a, a lot more water um, than your other plants. Tomatoes need more water when they're young unless when they're um, uh, fruiting, making fruit. Um, so I just use the finger method just because I water my beans a little more, my zucchini a little more, but other than that, I used the finger method and it worked fine last year. Now, when to water? Well, when? Well, you can water in the evening, but the water on the leaves don't evaporate um, as well, and it can lead to some uh, rot and some um, disease. Be careful not to water your tomato leaves. Water the, the dirt and not the leaves. Um, but, so the evening's okay. But I wouldn't make it a habit. Um, if they need water, water them, obviously. Midday, if you you water midday, it's gonna evaporate because the sun's hot, midday. So it's gonna evaporate quickly. And so um, not the ideal time to water, but if that's the only time you have and they need water, you might just have to water them longer um, morning, early to mid morning is when I water, try to, sometimes I do it midday, sometimes I do it at night, just because it's when I have time, but mid morning, early morning watering, um, is the best. So it, it can get down to the root where, which is what needs water and your foliage doesn't really need the water. So it will just evaporate uh, off the foliage. So you want to deep down, water the roots. And um, so I'm thinking once a week, twice a week, depending on how fast it evaporates. You know, um, go in there and feel, see if it's moist. If it's not moist, then um, then water it, you know, and if it is, just wait a day and check it the next day. So, 
twice a week should be enough, even in the hottest part of the summer. You know, except maybe like your beans and cucumbers will give them a little more love. But yeah, so if you haven't done so, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe and um, like this uh, video. I'm still trying to get better at this, and I think I am. Um, but yeah, that would help me a lot if you did that. So leave a comment, leave a comment below. I will definitely answer it. You know, now that I'm young and, well, I'm not young, my channel is young. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely answer anything I can. I, like I said, I'm not a, a gardening professional. You know, um, this, is, this is my second year of gardening and um, so I'm so new to this, but like and subscribe so you can see my next video. And um, this has been my suburban garden. And I'm Sheila. And thank you so much for being here. See you in the next one.